and welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are spooky or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure and hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every Monday and Thursday. Also, if you're interested in supporting the, ch the channel further or these kinds of videos, then please do consider joining my Patreon. I did have a channel membership here on YouTube, but I disabled it because it turns out YouTube takes a lot from their creators, surprise, surprise. So Patreon is so much better to work with and it's just so much easier for me to be able to show more to you all. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll leave all the information and the link for the Patreon down in the description down below. And yes, guys, we are doing some holiday decor hunting. So in my last video, you saw that um, I did like a haul of all my Christmas decor that I was gonna be getting for this year. So I don't plan on buying anything else, but I thought I could still go out and show you all what's there. Cause I know I personally like, when I'm sick or I have really bad pain days and I'm not able to get out, it's so nice to see what everyone else can see. And so I thought I would offer that for you guys. I am here at Michael's, I'm getting ready to go in and let's see what we can see. All right, everyone, so in Michael's, the first thing we see, they have this kind of, I don't know, whole nutcracker section floofy hat guy. I really liked him. They had some larger ones. I didn't even notice this baking chef one until like I'm literally editing the video. I'm really sad because I was looking for a baker one. I saw this pizza guy and I liked him. Oh, this green one. I kind of thought the coat was velvet. Turns out it's just painted wood. I'm really sad because I love that color green. All right, so yarn trees. I don't know. It looks a little DIY for me personally. I don't know. Some of these things I was like, you could make these cactus um <laughs> i don't really understand that at all <laughs> but you know you never know depending on where you live you might need a christmas cactus these embroidery loops were actually really pretty these don't scream like the holidays for me besides the sayings but i really love the style and as someone who has done that kind of work i know i mean granted they probably get it mass produced obviously but i just love that style it's very like grandmother christmasy and i love it had again so we start to get kind of more the general red green and white these pillows were lovely i loved that piece one again if it was different colors i might have gotten it because i love again that embroidery kind of style there's just something very homey and cute about it uh the whole peppermint style the red and white so this is again very traditional between red green and white and just red and white lots of tabletop decor different signs little puppy countdown. I will say there were so many countdowns I saw this day and advent calendars. I'm kind of sad during Halloween. I saw like two. They were like a Ray Dunn one. <laughs> there wasn't hardly any really cute ones, but it's the way it is. These stitched prints. I wish I had focused on those longer. Those are you know, maybe not prints, but they're like actual stitched work. It's beautiful work. I love that style. A very almost Nordic style gingerbread you know i love some cookies and we have more these are like wall signs different decor little fun sayings this santa i love him i didn't and again notice till i was editing the back of his hat look at it you'll see in a second it has a little swoop de swoop in the back it is so cute it's very elfish like so i i don't know it's i don't know. i like it now more than i did in store honestly um, more this little snow globe thingy. I didn't know what it was, but it's a tea light holder. So I think it's interesting. I mean, it's a different style. The candlesticks. We'll start to see. I, so apparently I didn't see the pizza dude initially when I was in the store, but here I am looking. I'm like, because oh, I thought it was a baker, but it's a little pizza person, pizza maker. I still want to keep an eye out for a better baker. I saw the one before, but... I don't know. I'd love to find a lady baker nutcracker. That would be cool. If you guys see anyone, see any of those, comment below. Let me know because I'm on the lookout. Even though I don't need anything, honestly, but I want it. <laughs> um, wreaths. Uh, again, this gets kind of farmhousey with some of this stuff towards the end. 
of this section right here and then uh, the gingerbread thing again um i honestly really love this like rules of christmas welcome friends be merry trim the tree build a snowman make snow angels treasure family sing carols honor traditions hot cocoa hank stockings believe oh my gosh when i was a store that like kind of made me tear up that was really sweet then we get into a lot of the like the crafty stuff so all this um like die cut wood these really delicate looking pieces these are perfect crafts for kids or just family like i don't know i'm sure my husband and i, I he's not big into painting but i can see if you are a crafty family these would be really cool to sit down and do a craft together the mouse nutcracker oh my goodness you guys i that was so precious and i love these i was like oh look how big these are these are cool the mouth works on them they had a drummer boy and then these <laughs> i barely didn't notice the massive ones that was coming up to it but like these had to have been two feet tall nutcrackers. Absolutely amazing. They had a farmer nutcracker and then some tiny little baby nutcrackers. Those are cute as well. And then you get more to like ceramic kind of stuff, like paintable ceramics. They had a cat, which you couldn't see too much in this, but I do get a little bit closer. Look at the precious little cat face. <laughs> a house, snowman. And then they had this whole section of like boxes and baskets. I saw this top hat and I was kind of curious how this worked as a basket, but the opening is at the top, which I think is really fun. I think you can make that a really pretty like table arrangement if that's something, you know, you're interested in. Then they had a whole lot of the like um, party wear. So like silverware, uh, tablecloths, napkin rings, all of that sort of stuff for different table settings. They did have it on sale till the 13th so this past weekend. But you know, Michael's, you know, give it two days, they'll run another sale. So just keep an eye out for those. Big containers of ornaments, but sadly no like darker aesthetic ones. I thought this one might have been, but is more just silver and blue santa cookie jar i thought this was really cute i love the detail of this it's just precious creepy santa face <laughs> we get to all the wreath um like wreath things so all the different little pigs the whole section of the or at least the first part of it was very like pine and fur and just very traditional christmas i did really like these berries they look like they were frosted and they were super glittery this gingerbread cookie that looked like it had all sorts of sugar all over it. Those were really cute. The next section was very like peppermint, red and white stripes, and just frosty, not frosty, frosted. Yeah, <laughs> frosted, like just white in general. Snowy, oh my lord. <laughs> um, and then some silver and some gold stuff as well. We get to the pre-made wreaths. They had this really fun gingerbread one. And then most everything else was very like just red and green. Very cervical uh, Christmas colors. Oh, again, you see that one's on sale until the 13th. But, you know, like I said, just keep an eye out for sales. They're, they're always doing something. I'll pull back and pan out so you can see the full section of all the wreaths. But right now it's kind of, they all kind of look the same. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's nothing that really stood out for me. It's not to say they're not beautiful and they could really be someone's style. It's just, I wanted something different. Um, they have all the Lamax, like, I almost said spooky houses. The Lamax, like, holiday houses. Um, I was looking for, like, a bakery one because that would be cool. Not that I really have space for it, but I would love to find, like, a fun bakery that has, like, a a little bread lady and there maybe she moves and you can see her beating dough that would actually be really fun somebody should make that um christmas trees uh different now you see all the tree skirts and then this was a whole area of just like blankets and like the leftover pillows and stuff that seemed like it didn't fit into the other collections so there's all of again more of the farmhousey stuff there was a black and white it was like buffalo check kind of print um, and then stocking. So that's about Michael's. All right, so we just went in Michael's. Um, okay, the, all the neon stuff is really interesting to me. What did you guys think? You, you heard obviously the voiceover, my, my thoughts in general, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Michael's stuff. There's nothing that really like, super interests me personally. I did like kind of some of the stuff that looked a little almost like Nordic in like the stitching. Um, 
that stuff was really cool. It's different. You don't see a whole lot of that kind of stuff, I think. Or at least I haven't seen a lot of it. So I, I, that was interesting. It's not really how I would normally decorate, but I like seeing it. I did also like a lot of the just raw wood pieces that you can paint or that kind of thing. Because, you know, I'm a crafty gal, so I, I enjoy seeing that stuff. You know, I feel like they're still definitely putting stuff out. Because some of it seemed like there were like bits and pieces of each line, but not the full thing. So... What I'm going to do now, I'm going to head to um, Joanne. The, the plan today is to Michael's. I'm also going to be going to Joanne and I'm going to go to Walmart. So hopefully this video isn't crazy long. I'm trying to do a little bit better than I did during Halloween where those were great, but some of them hit like 40 minutes. So um, I'm trying to be more mindful and not be so chatty. So let's just head to Joanne. All right, and on we go to the land of Joanne. <laughs> All right, so they had to divide it up between different, uh, I guess, lines. This one was the Northern Lights. You'll see, I guess this section or all of this is, all of their holiday stuff is on sale till the 23rd. So check their ad to be sure. But the Northern Lights line, it... Okay, so while we saw the stitch stuff at Michael's and it seemed very almost like traditional Nordic, this seems like modern Nordic to me. Like very like oak wood light colored wood marble white silver gray like kind of neutral colors look at the polar bears you'll see there's a bunch of polar bears and penguin stuff because obviously it is the land of the north <laughs> um oh these branchy white like uh this garland i think i actually got this last year i don't know what line it was considered then but i got it um because i have like a whole branchy snowy mantle theme going on so you'll see that when I do my decorate with me uh this rattan deer was cool this tree this like wire tree with the little I don't know crystal-y ends was so beautiful I was hoping it lit up if it lit up I would have bought it but as it is it was so pretty but I just didn't have a specific spot in mind for it Again, now you kind of, uh, when I pan out, you see the full kind of color scheme for this. Lots of neutral colors, a lot of woodwork. Um, I really like that snowflake was actually really pretty and well dyed. I feel like you could put little things in each of the little cutout sections, maybe. Especially if you're someone who has like crystals or that kind of thing. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, okay, this Happy Holidays tray, these were actually super heavy. So if you're looking for a heavy duty silver tray, that might be good to check out. Um, oh, the tree hook. So yeah, the penguin, not tree hook. <laughs> oh my Lord. You know, mm -hmm. the hooks for the, the, what are they called? Stockings. Sweet Lord. You know what I mean? But I really liked all the, they had some deer ones, which are cool. Um, <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, it's a morning. Stockings. So here's the stockings that would be held by those hooks. <laughs> they were on sale this weekend. I think these were one of the door busters for this past weekend. And then this next weekend, they will have a different one. So here's another line, Home for the Holidays. I believe this was the mushroom line, which was my for sure favorite out of all the ones we'll see. Yeah, Home for the Holidays. Okay, I couldn't confirm if that was the, the same line. But there were some really cute things. I loved this like metal garland. So if you worked that in with like some leafy pine garland, I think it'd be so pretty. Or if you're doing like a whole branchy theme, it was just lovely. I love metal work. So I thought that was really cool. And then we get into the kind of red and white. This was very like the Santa line. You can kind of see when I pull back, you see the full line of it. I'll go up to this Santa sign and I can't remember the name. Maybe it's Mary and Bright. Ma oh very merry there we go so this was like the santa line <laughs> all the red and white so if that's your thing joanne's got a whole bunch of it see more advent calendars oh this um i love the wood cutouts on this this wall hanging that was actually really cool i love little details like that uh, a lot of different ornaments just different styles then we get into the i think this is like the winter wonderland or christmas wonderland or something wonderland what does it say oh maybe it's just regular wonderland okay fine then <laughs> but it gives me very whoville vibes you know like cindy lou who i don't know it's just there's something very like kind of retro uh like 50s 60s about this maybe not 60s 50s this plate dear santa it's a long story <laughs> 
<laughs> I almost bought this. You know, I have zero need for it because I just thought that was so cute. It made me laugh. Um, and I really liked this deer one as well. This little reindeer. It was so precious. The very like vintagey looking reindeers. There's lots of the trays. And then we see a lot of like the little um, gift tins for like cookies or treats or fudge. I think this would be so cool if you're someone who likes to bake or make little treats. These would be perfect for gifts. I know I've done that in the past and I might actually go back and kind of snack some of these if they're still on sale soon. I didn't look. I love this mushroom theme. I should have looked to see if there were some mushroom tins. Hmm. I'll look at that later. <laughs> oh, these angels. My grandmother, um, one of my grandmothers, she actually used to collect angels. And so this makes me think of her. These are so beautifully done. I love this one. This one with the way the snowflake is, that gives me kind of Norse feelings almost. And this one makes me think very Scottish with the tartan. And then we'll see another that is like very white and so silver. So it's, I don't know, even more of a wintry place. Like if you were in Greenland or something, <laughs> all of the snow. I thought these were just so beautiful. Um, I really liked them. They seem very well done too. They had a lot of really fun nutcrackers. See, they had a lady nutcracker. So if I can find a lady nutcracker that's a baker, that would be optimal. <laughs> um, some little ones. <laughs> the elf coming up, we'll see, is really cute. So I thought they had some good ones. They have a, a nice Santa down below as well. Several different, like, very, like, woodsy santas i don't know like beefy santas um back to the little wonderland they did have this really cute little uh advent calendar with like little drawers and wood cutouts i thought those were so nicely done some different decor all within that then we get into the full like this is the mushroom woods theme and i love it so much you'll see all the different they have a really pretty po poinsettia pillow down there keep warm snuggle up i loved that little thing there was a moose antler bowl thing this thing was so heavy by the way so if that's at all your style i think that would be kind of a fun piece this candle holder you see the mushrooms you can kind of see how the light comes through so i'm thinking you put a candle in it'll light up but i love this i did get one of those that small one because they had them on sale the mushroom happy holidays little hook sign that was so so cute I re again I love woodwork so anything like that with my kind of style as well I, I, I really appreciate I think it's just adorable I liked this metal um little pine cone uh candle holder candlestick holder I thought that was really cute too it's a little more expensive even on sale that piece was a little expensive for me um but I really liked it mushroom jar i tried to zoom in because for some reason my camera was focusing on the one at the back not the one in the front but this is a cute jar and i love that little mushroom topper and then there was a mushroom embroidery i'm telling you they went all out with the mushroom theme uh, i really like it it's so different for for like a yule line you don't normally see it oh sorry i was trying to figure out what this was it says it's a tray it seems more like just a, a large i don't know candle holder or like a I don't know. I don't know if I, maybe I think tray, I think serving food. So maybe it's just more like a, a key tray or something like that. But, um, more of this, this line, I guess was just, there was a really large amount of stuff within this one line. These different little <laughs> tabletop mushrooms are so cute. I liked the small one, but they didn't have a tag on it. And I was already like, I don't need to buy anything. So I didn't go ask how much it was, but it was, it was adorable. Um, and then you'll see the little, here's the snow globe I got. I showed you in the last video, that haul. It's just so cute. I love it. And I really also liked this deer. Um, like the tea light holder is in its antlers. I think that's so cool. That would actually be really fun for like um, a dining room table or like an altar or anything like that. I, I really like that style. Um and then, again, we keep go looking. And then I think, you know, after the bottle brush trees, there's basically a lot of pet stuff. So you see a lot of these, like, dog um, coats and stuff. And then there was this whole entire um, dog section that was part of the Very Merry. So they had uh, mugs, some different tabletop signs, 
I love, we believe in Santa Paws. I thought that was so cute. This little bone tabletop sign, better not bark, better not whine. And then they had some pillows down below that were really kind of cute as well in the shape of paws. Okay, I'm trying to make it so you can see me because the sun is, is beaming in. But Joanne, oh my gosh, I, I'm really loving all of their lines this year. Um, it's just very well thought out. They have a lot, maybe it's just because they have a lot more inventory, it seems, than Michael. So it seems like the lines are more put together. But I just really am liking all the different styles. They're so very distinct and I'm just enjoying it. Uh, obviously, I really, really like the mushroom line. As you saw, I got the snow globe in the last video. I did get the little green mushroom. Um, it was like a candle holder. Like it had mushrooms etched out in it. So I assume once you put the candle in and it's burning, it will, uh, you'll be able to see the silhouette of the little mushroom. I thought those were so cute. Again, all of that's 50% off until, I can't remember, you saw the date. I, I made sure to uh, zoom in on the date for each of the little sale signs. Um, but definitely check Joanne's website. They um, will put up their ad and they have different door busters each weekend. So um, I think one of the lines was an additional something this weekend and then maybe another one is different for next weekend. I could be completely wrong on that, but definitely check their website if you want. I honestly really recommend downloading the app because you can get your coupons there very easily and you can just see what's on sale super, super easily. So definitely check the ads, check the website, Make sure you use your coupon when you can. They had a 20% off one. They couldn't be used on the door busters, but anything that was on sale, I could use it on that. So um, I did also get, this is a weird angle, I'm sorry. I did also get a pair of uh, cat earrings. It's like cats, <laughs> these black cats completely wrapped in a strand of lights looking so terribly grumpy and so cute. I don't know if I got video of the jewelry section because um, I think that was at the very, very end, but <laughs> I'm sure you'll see me wear them in a video. I just thought they were so cute and they ended up being on sale. So but yeah, I'm gonna head to Walmart now. We'll see what's there. And then we're gonna wrap it up today because I am getting tired. It's 11 o'clock, so it's not super late, but I'm getting tired. So yeah, let's go to Walmart. All right, so we get in Walmart. I'm already gonna apologize if any angles are weird. It was so busy, and there was like a million kids running around, so I was trying to stay out of everyone's way. But anywho, so their first little area is the whole woodland theme too. So it feels like everybody is jumping on the woodland theme this year, which I'm not mad at. You know, I kind of like some of it, but some of this was also very pepperminty or very cabin chic <laughs> um so the first little section of ornaments was very like traditional red and white oh these black red white silver ornaments i did actually get those last time i forgot to show them during my haul i realized that after i'd already finished filming that i left them on the dining room table meant to show them to you guys so i got those they look really really cool and it was like ten dollars for that full pack so great prices on ornaments if you're looking for them but back to the ornaments, they had a whole section of just like red and white. Then they end up getting to the woodland section later on. But look at these gingerbread ornaments. These are really cute. And then they had some, the nutcracker ones were fun. But I love the gingerbread house ones. I thought those were really different. They look really pretty too. As you can see, it kind of changes over. It looks a little bit more like cabin chic. <laughs> so lots of flannel, lots of darker, more just like woods, um, pine, that kind of thing. It was, it was really pretty, so I could see, I could see some people liking this. Then they had the, the deer heads. Those were cool. If those were black, that would have been fun. I probably would have bought them because I love horned animals. Like, rams are my favorite animal. I love goats. Okay, so black and white stuff. <laughs> Stay focused, Jenny. They had this black and white poinsettia. It looked kind of cheap, honestly, for, I think they were charging like $2 for that. Um, they did have it. Maybe they're in better shape in your area, but mine just looked like they were falling apart. Uh, they had this little gnome. They had a snowman that had the buffalo check hat on. Um, we do see there's a Santa that has a buffalo check hat on, the black and white one, which is kind of cool. You don't see many like darker Santas um, or darker style Santas. We'll say that. Um, I thought it was cool. Then there was this whole like retro section, which, oh my gosh, I would love to do a whole tree in like 50s style. Look at this Santa baby TV. 
then there's a Santa we all show that I'm calling Disco Santa. I'm really tempted to go back and buy Disco Santa because look at this man. He is he is having the time of his life dancing about like a disco ball. <laughs> and it just, it is so cute and so weird and I really like it. Um, then they had like, you know, a gold and silver section, but also Disco Santa. He's still there. He, he's always watching you. As creepy as it is. <laughs> um, tinsel, there's so much tinsel in different sections. Um, so if you're looking for tinsel, Walmart has got you. They have a lot of different colors. Sadly, no black tinsel, but I can probably see why. Because, you know. <laughs> um, oh, and then here's the beads. So I didn't see any of just the, the small black and white ones. But they did have the larger black and white beads. There was another one that has um, it's just the regular black. There was some black and white ones that had little angel gnomes on it. So if you're looking for those, they have that. Um, and then a lot of, but again, back to like tinsel ornaments, tabletop stuff, tree toppers, all that kind of thing. A lot of just the mini tree kind of ornaments. So a lot of small ones. I think this is cool. You don't see places that do a full section of like mini tree stuff. So the ribbons, a lot of little tiny tree toppers, um, <laughs> little nutcracker ornament. Uh, they did see this um, almost look like Aztec black and white mini ornaments. The stars are different many tree toppers we'll see in a second there's some is some deer i think they look really precious again like i said i i love to hoard animals so that made me smile um and then we'll see there's a lot of like mini ornaments there was this black one i didn't see that last time this was the only one that was black everything else i saw even last time and this time there was a lot of just bright colored ones so it's fun to see a black and white one or a black one and then I do end up finding some black and white ones. So I got these for my little mini treats. I thought those would be so cool. I was really happy to find those. They had lots of sections of, of containers of ornaments. Sorry for the weird angle. There were some like a bunch of kids right behind me, I think at this time. And I was trying to stay out of their way because they were looking and their family was looking. But lots of big containers of ornaments, depending on what you're looking at. Or you're looking for. I did like these big ones actually. Those would be fun for outside. Um, and then we there's some little etched ornaments. Oh, these are so pretty. The detail of the trees on those. Those are really nice. So if you're looking for some more like detailed, fancier looking ornaments, they do have those there as well. And at a pretty good price point too. Especially if you're like you're just starting like your collection or first year having a tree or any sort of ornaments, it's a good time to get it. Or a good place to get it. Um, a lot of the bows and the black and white bow, you guys. I found it this time. I was so happy. And then they had just a regular black velvet bow as well. But I was happy to get that black and white one. I didn't see it last time. There was only one this time. Uh, lots of other little ribbon if you're looking for it. Then we get to like the stars and like the whole tree topper aisle. So they have angels, a lot of different like stars, whether it's snowflakes or just shiny stars. All that kind of thing. Then we'll see. They had some like snowman and elves and Santa toppers. <laughs> and there's an owl. Um, tree skirts. They had a couple of velvet ones. No black one. There was a white and a blue one. And another location I did see a red one. So keep an eye out for those. There's a black and white tree skirt. We'll see down there. I'll pull it out and show you. Now I like the design in this. I even like the little, little balls. But the material in this was so like thin and kind of cheap nylon i feel like if you have pets or honestly kids one little tear in this the whole thing is gonna rip it's not like nicer cotton so i don't know not a bad price but it's also very cheap feeling honestly if you're a crafty person i feel like you can make it for cheaper than that potentially if you get your fabric on sale <laughs> use your coupons um and then they had all of the different stockings <laughs> mermaid one i just noticed a mermaid tail one um they did have a black one with the buffalo check topper it's kind of like black velvety one um but everything else is very more traditional christmasy colors but a, a good variety there was a jack it said tree hugger but it's like i guess a tree topper um and the grinch snow globe was really pretty it does play music but it was just jingle bells i was hoping it was something 
from the Grinch. They put a lot of snow in it. <laughs> I think they overstuffed the snow because you couldn't even see the Grinch afterwards. So many snowballs, snow globes. Um, what else do they have? Oh, they did have this Nightmare Before Christmas, like small advent calendar. Oh, that's kind of cute. And this Grinch, <laughs> like pillow, this squishy pillow. Uh, then they have all their holiday cards. They actually had a really good re- a variety. So I was very, very pleased. Um, so whether if you're one like cutesy or more traditional or like something religious or inspirational, they had stuff for, you know, pretty much anybody. Um, I uh, really love peanuts. So they had some really fun peanuts ones down below. And I also did get some gingerbread ones uh, for patrons. So if you are a patron, by December 1st, I will be sending out cards to you all. So there's those for you guys. And then I went out and I did see um, towards the Reese, they had all this mesh. I was really surprised to see some black and white. It was black and white check. And then they also had um, a black and white stripe. I'll show you. But they had different sizes for large ones, like longer ones. And then they had some shorter ones. Or I guess it was more like width, not so much length. Um, but I, I did get both of the black and white ones. I thought those would be great for just year-round projects, honestly. And they had a Grinch train. I tried looking for the Nightmare Before Christmas one, but I didn't see it. But... The Grinch train was so cute. This was $10. If I knew my cats wouldn't try and like tackle it over or if I had a place on top of a bookshelf, I think this would be so cute. But like around a tree, if you have well-behaving animals and or children, I think it would be cute. A nice black and white tree skirt, kind of vintage-y look, not vintage-y, 1800s looking, honestly. Um, and then, of course, I had to go look at all of the trees. They had a good variety of them, and their prices are always pretty nice. I know we got a new one there last year, um, which you guys will see again in the Decorate with me. But I like the rainbow tree. I thought that was so cute. And then I was very surprised to see they had a black tree amongst it. It was kind of small and a little like sparse looking, but once you put enough ornaments on these trees, even if they look a little thin, they work out fine. I mean, and I think this was 29, 25. I'll end up showing you the box. So you can see exactly what it looks like. Um, but they had a good variety of, of different trees. So depending on what size you're looking for, whether it's pre-lit or not, I was pretty happy to see it. It was just, it made me smile to be out here <laughs> seeing how it is. Um, and then here's the box for the tree. So you got 25. This one is only a four foot, but put it on top of like an ottoman and it works out really well. So, yep, um, I think that is all we see at Walmart, but they had some really good prices on stuff, so definitely, definitely give them a check if you're, if you're looking stuff. Whew, I don't know if I mentioned it in the voiceover, but uh, that was a little chaotic. I guess I just don't come to Walmart enough to know how busy it is all the time. It's a Friday, like midday, it's 11.30 on a Friday. <laughs> It was so crowded. I can't even imagine how it is on a weekend. We saw they had, like, there was obviously that whole, like, woodland forest kind of look. There's the very traditional red, white, red, white, and green. Um, they did have a good amount of black and white items, which is why I was so excited. Um, I did see the black and white striped bow this time, so I did snag that. Lord Trucks, okay. I hear you. Lord. Okay. But they also had some mini ornaments. I did not see them last time. Or I did not see the black and white ones last time. So I was really excited. I did get um, two of those little packs. I didn't plan on those, but those will work really well for the little mini trees that I have. There's a black and white nutcracker that I've seen. They didn't have it here. They didn't have any nutcrackers here. There was like stuff. I went out and looked at the, the trees they have. That, I guess, always makes me smile. I think it's because I love color and, and I love lights. And so it's always just feels very nostalgic. It reminds me of being a kid and going and like driving around the neighborhood and seeing all the lights. Anybody else do that? I think that's why the trees and, and when I just see lit up decorations, probably for any season, that's why I love it for Halloween and Christmas. It's just, there's uh, so much nostalgia attached to a lot of that, but. Yeah, so that is going to be it for the day. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if this is the kind of videos you guys are wanting to see. I will try and do maybe every other week do like a check-in of different places. I still um, I want to do Target for you guys. I do also want to do At Home because I haven't even been there to see what they have this year. And you know At Home is always like above and beyond 
with Halloween. So I can imagine their Christmas stuff is pretty good. So I'll definitely, I'm um, gonna be doing a Target and an at home video. I'm trying to think of where else, where else would you guys like me to go? Is there anywhere else in particular? Other than those, I might try and do some TJ Maxx and Home Goods. The only thing with those is because the stuff kind of wavers in and out, there's not a consistent inventory and there's not anything like that that I'm wanting to buy. The thing about showing that with you guys is that you may never see it, you know? And so it's like, I like going to places like this, like Walmart or Target or any of that, where they try to have fairly consistent inventory between all of the stores. So um, I might do again a TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Every so often we'll see. Let me know in the comments if that's something you are interested in. Hey, uh, thank you guys for joining me. Again, I do hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, feel free to check out the Patreon. It's linked down below. You saw I did get some cards. Christmas cards just for the patrons that I will be sending out just for them. So um, feel free to check that out. Again, everything's in the description if you're interested. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing wonderful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.